Iran's Revolutionary Guards unveiled an intermediate-range ballistic missile Tuesday, capable of traveling at hypersonic speeds of up to 15 times the speed of sound, state television reported. President Ebrahim Raisi hailed the new missile's hypersonic capability, saying it would boost Iran's power of deterrence and bring peace and stability to the countries of the region. The official Erna news agency published photographs of the ceremony in a closed area it did not identify. Several top military commanders were present, including Guards Chief General Hossein Salami. The range of the FATA missile is 1,400 kilometers, 870 miles, and its speed before hitting its target is between 13 and 15 times the speed of sound, Erna said. Like slower ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles can be equipped with nuclear warheads, and Iran's announcement it was producing one in November prompted International Atomic Energy Agency Chief Rafael Grassi to express concern. But Grassi added he did not see the new missile having any influence on negotiations with Iran over its nuclear activities. Talks between Tehran and major powers on reviving a 2015 nuclear deal that was left in tatters when Washington unilaterally abandoned it in 2018 and imposed renewed sanctions are currently stalled. Iran has since suspended its implementation of the strict limits it agreed to on its nuclear activities and restricted IAEA monitoring in a policy it is only slowly reversing. Unlike conventional ballistic missiles, hypersonic ones fly on a trajectory low in the atmosphere, enabling them to reach their targets more quickly and with less chance of being intercepted by modern air defenses. When the program was announced last year, Guards Aerospace Chief General Amirali Hajizadeh said the system was developed to counter air defense shields, adding that he believed it would take decades before a system capable of intercepting it is developed. Iran's arch-foe Israel, which is widely believed to have its own undeclared nuclear arsenal, has multiple air defense shields for countering subsonic and supersonic missiles. North Korea's test of a hypersonic missile last year sparked concerns about the race to acquire the technology, which is currently led by Russia, followed by China and the United States. Since March last year, Russia's Kinzhal hypersonic missile has been used multiple times in its war against Ukraine. Speaking at the high-voltage unveiling ceremony of FATA-1 in June this year, Commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh said Iran has become just the fourth country in the world to have this technology, without naming the said countries. At the time, a military expert from the region who did not wish to be quoted told Eurasian Times, in the absence of any substantial evidence, it is hard to believe that they have a sophisticated technology that even the most technologically advanced countries are struggling with. Tehran is bluffing or highly exaggerating its capabilities. It is more of an info war just like we see between Russia and Ukraine. Although several military watchers in the region have expressed confidence in Iran's capabilities, others have expressed skepticism. Military expert and a senior fellow at the Institute of Peace and Conflict Studies, IPCS, Abhijit Iyer Mitra, told Eurasian Times, I don't believe anything unless I see a test, because Iran is notorious for making these claims. Every year, they post pictures of a dozen weapons they claim to be developing. 
they have released images of two stealth mock-ups, a stealth warship, and several other missiles none of which materialized. It seems like a complete sham. Also, remember, achieving a hypersonic missile is not a big deal, but sustaining hypersonic speed is a big deal. If you fit a ballistic missile motor onto an object, it will fundamentally go hypersonic. Can it sustain hypersonic speed by itself, and can they make that motor small enough to be used by a missile like this? That's a big question. These are huge technology gaps that they have to overcome. It may still be a profoundly unsettling precedent for Iran's regional adversaries, especially Israel. A famous Iranian daily warned in November 2022 that a new Iranian hypersonic missile could reach Israel in 400 seconds or less. Just a month later, Iranian Navy Commander Rear Admiral Sharam Irani announced on July 3 that a hypersonic missile would be installed on Iran's homegrown Damavan 2 destroyer, slated to be inducted into service soon. This may create a dangerous situation when the US carriers and warships sail the waters near the Red Sea.